Hello there, Leo here with Digital Track, and today we're going to be talking about um, some restaurant marketing ideas for October, right? So if you are a BC restaurant owner that is always serving your customers and always looking to best help your customers, right, which is the main job of your restaurant to generate revenue, um, but you are always busy to promote promote your restaurant, right? How to how to get clients to come back or how to get a new clients to even be aware of your of your restaurant so with this i topic that we're going to talk about today right restaurant marketing ideas for October that i found on uh, restaurantnews.com perhaps that can help you to uh come up with some fresh ideas that can uh help you with some of that to um get some new customers or or perhaps, right, have customers, loyal customers to come back. Um, so, okay, let's get started. Before we do that, let me just um, show you real quick. So you can find me on Facebook. Um, you can just search for Leo Callejas. I'm in the Solano County area. Um, it's perfect to be more specifically, right? So you can come to my page, kind of get to learn about, about me on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, you can do a search for Leo Callejas on Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn as well. Um, you can come to my website, digitaltrack.co. And so what, we, what I do is basically uh, I'm working, I've, I've been working with small businesses here in Solano County that either they um, are too busy, but they understand the power of being online to continue be, you know, advertise the customers to stay in front of them or to uh, advertise promotions that they have going on. Uh, so new customers can be aware. Also, been working with customers that could be doing print media or radio, but they don't know how to use online, right? How to, they don't know how to use technology to promote their business, and so that's where I've been working with. And I, and I, when I could come and help you, right, to take advantage of technology nowadays to promote your business. If you've been doing advertising, or if you're just too busy, but you understand that you need to be advertising. Um, and you just don't understand technology, then perhaps uh, we can talk some more. You can come to my website, zerotrack.co. You can call or text 707-410-0307 um, or email info at digitaltrack.co. So, okay, let's get started with the ideas here on uh, restaurant marketing ideas for October. Uh, one of the things that I the article points out over here is that October is a national pizza month. So... Those of you that have a pizza restaurant, even, you know, this could be a great opportunity for you to go over pizza deals, mentioning, of course, on your uh, advertising campaigns that, you know, it's October is National Pizza Month. So we throw in the house through the roof and offering the best deal in the year, right? Because just basically they have a natural fit. Also, uh, National Chili Month shares the spotlights with pizza. So, um, you know, you can come up with words uh, describe description that says spicy, chunky, with without beans. There's nothing like a nice, hearty bowl of chili to warm your guests down to their toes. So, you know, you can come up with different ideas reference to what uh, it's hot in the in the month of October, right? National Pizza Pizza Deal. Now. If you don't have your business page on Facebook or Instagram, you're missing, you're missing out a lot. These platforms are great for, for people that love looking at uh, videos and, and picture of food. As you can see, the first thing that comes up over here is about food, right? And it is so easy for you to check out what is being working so for example i work with this company called el caracol it is easy for you to check to you know post some things you have somebody posting for you you can have your your the person that helps you with your online stuff you can have one of your employees take pictures and and give them access to your page and perhaps give them a little bit of extra tips for you for if, if they put some extra pictures for you but what happens is um whether you use Instagram or or Facebook, right? People like watching food, uh, pictures of food there, and you can kind of see, okay, which pictures have been doing great. Now you cannot do it here because this is a um, um, 
a computer, but on your phone device, uh, Instagram, you can set up a account as a business account. And what that helps you see is see the metrics, see what kind of posts has, have been doing great, right? Obviously, some indicators could be the hearts and the comments. Now, if you don't know how to use any of this, I understand, but let, you know, using Instagram, Facebook to this, to make people aware of your business or to remind your customers about your business is, is something that you should do. Plus, it's free. Now, obviously, I will recommend it to also as well put some money behind it and, and advertise some of these posts, especially those that are doing great, right? You can uh, uh, put a little bit, bit of money behind it. Um, for example, this one looks it's 45 hearts and 14 comments. So that would be really good. So what I can come and do is post something like this and, 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 and boost it, right? Um, now, obviously with October, obviously you'll do something about October. October is a great month. And then you can do different pictures about your pizza and then, and then put some money behind it and advertise it. And then what happens is you can even make a deal on that post, right? Let's say October is go to this link to, uh, get, get a coupon. So for example, with El Caracol, we have, um, $5 special, right? Uh, so I can have, uh, my uh, I can have the links on my post to go to something like this. And then what happens is we have Facebook, Google tracking visitors. And so what we can do is that people that come here naturally or organically or people that come here from or advertising, we can always uh, have Facebook, Instagram, and Google know that information so that we can continue to send other special offers or advertising to those people. Uh, so that's the beauty about doing something like this. Um, YouTube can get you a lot of different views for very, very cheap nowadays. Um, same with uh, doing views for Facebook. It's still really, really affordable, okay? So those are things that you can do, right? Um, get people to go to... Uh, you know, post something about the special for October, like a pizza uh, on Facebook, Instagram, then obviously you can do some YouTube videos as well. Uh, it can be really something really simple, right? You, um, the much, the best ones that will work is if you as the owner, one of your employees that are great at, at being in video and camera, will, will talk about the specials and the, and the, and about the business, that would be even greater, right? But you can also put pictures together and kind of let people know about the specials. Um, you can have somebody do it that for you. Okay, so um, <clears throat> you can advertise the, the specials that way as well. And the same thing applies, right? You can have people to uh, go to your website to take advantage of, of the special. And then those that didn't take advantage of the special, you continue to send advertising to those to remind them to come back. Or even if they grab the special coupon or voucher, you can continue to advertise to those to uh, reminded to use the, the voucher. So that's some of the ideas that I see here. Uh, there's so many other stuff that they mentioned, like beverage marketing. Uh, so for example, October, we know this October fest, right? Very popular with beers, uh, frappe day, vodka day. So it looks like they're also going to have in October. We also have chicken cachetori day. Wow. Egg day, fried scallops day, greasy food day, gumbo day, pasta day, seafood bisque day. So Taco Day, okay, National Taco Day, vegetarian. So as you can see, we have a lot of different ideas. And even um, they have a restaurant marketing calendar that you can use with all of these different specials that you can apply, reference to National Days and other special days. National Month, so, sorry about that. And then other uh, National Days, specifically two different items that you can see over here. So it looks like the calendar is full of stuff. <laughs> covering all 31 days in October. So you can you can take some inspiration from this and, and go with it. Obviously, you don't want to do one special every day because otherwise, I mean, I don't know. If you have the money and the team, then great. So be it, right? But we just pick a few of these that are very, very popular uh, and then go with it. Um, maybe you, you want to do once every two months uh, or uh, every two months, one, one special every two weeks, right? So that people are getting confused. 
and, and then go from there. You got to think about your your budget, right? If your budget is big, then by all means, right, um, go with as many specials that make sense for your restaurant or business and go with it. Other Otherwise, um, you know, go with those that are most popular and try them out. All right, so if you want to get a copy of this uh, restaurant marketing ideas calendar, uh, I'm going to be putting a link where you can go uh, or you can just reach out to me, right? You can text me, call me, um, send me a direct message on Facebook or Instagram, and then um, uh, I'll be se- I can send this to you. But again, I'm, I can put a link as well to uh, one of my pages, my website, where I'm going to be putting this so you can download it as well. Um Real quick, if you want any more information, um, you can just simply go to my website, right? Uh, fill up the form if you want a no obligation analysis where I can, uh, you can put your information there. And uh, based on that, I can give you some information, reference a report on how your business is doing online. I can do that for you um, if you are concerned about the visibility of your of your business online, right? To it to to see if it's easy for people to find you online. For example, I had a business not too long ago that I was working with, a uh, new business, right? But um, this person didn't have no online presence, right? So you will search for the business name and the city and not much will come up at all. The little things that came up, it was about their competitor. So can you imagine you don't having any control about your online presence or you don't check in your online presence and when people are looking for your for you online, your competitors can be stealing your customers because when they're searching for it, they're going to be it. Your competitors the one showing up, then by all means, take action, you know, control that. If you, if you have heard people saying that it is hard for them to find you online or when they when they look for you online, nothing comes up or somebody else's information comes up. You know, take advantage of this. No obligation. Uh, you can call me or text me, text me 707-410-0307. Um, and we can go from there. And remember, you know, if you want to find me on Facebook, if you have Facebook, you can Google, you can search for Leo Callejas. Uh, you can go to Instagram and search for Leo Callejas. You can go to LinkedIn, go to Leo Callejas, Leo Callejas as well. All right, have a good one. Bye.